Hey guys, it's Catherine, and this is what my week looked like for January 7th through January 13th, 2019. This is part of my planner vlog series, so this video is not a tutorial, but if you have any questions about anything I do at any point in this video, feel free to leave a comment. I'll link to everything that I use in my planner this week in the video description down below. If you want to see how I got all of this filled in in Procreate, stay tuned. First, I pull in one of my weekly spreads from the Truly Yours planner into Procreate. And then I start filling my boxes with a shade of light pink. After I do that, I decide that I want to install a font that I have recently purchased onto my iPad. I have a full tutorial that shows how to do this, and I'll link to that in the video description. So for now, I'm just using an app called iZip and an app called AnyFont to install this font. And then I go to an app called Graphic, and I type out all of the days of the week. So once I'm done with that, I copy and paste that into Procreate, and then I size those down and I begin duplicating them so I can use them individually as stickers. So then starting with Wednesday, I begin placing all of the days above the boxes that they need to go above, and then I zoom in so I can do a better job of centering all of my days. Then I decide to pull in a sticker sheet that comes with the Truly Yours Planner, and I pull in the numbers 7 through 13 from this sticker sheet. And then I begin placing those on top of the proper boxes. So then I go back to the sticker sheets that come with the Truly Yours Planner, and I select one of those and then I pull in the month of January and place that to the side. And then utilizing the clipping mask feature in Procreate 4.2, I create a pink drop shadow for my month. Then I bring in one of my mini calendar stickers and I place that under the month of January. And then I start tracking my mood. So on Monday, I was feeling very inspired. So I wrote that down and I placed it in the box that I use for tracking my moods. And then I just filled in some of the space so it would actually connect to my mood box because I thought that would look cool. So then I browse my sticker packs for a second that I have stored in Procreate and I decide to use my Sitting Pretty sticker kit. So I just love all of the pinks in this sticker kit and I'll link to it in the video description. So then I select my checklist for the day because I got a lot done on Monday. Then I decide to pull in some header stickers that are also available in my Etsy shop and I'll link to these in the video description as well. And I bring in the black sticker so I can easily change the color because I wanted my headers to match my kit. So I place this work sticker in my header and I adjust it to fit the box. And then I start writing down everything that I got done that day. So that day I did the voiceover for my Plan of Me video for December 10th through December 16th, 2018. And I also worked on some 90s stickers that were inspired by me turning 30. Um, they're hand lettered and they're free on my website and I will link to those in the video description. I also did a lot of digital planning that day. I had fallen really behind on digital planning, so I caught up that day, and that was a lot of fun. And another thing that I did that day was I worked in my digital bullet journal, which I really don't get to do as much as I'd like, um, but I did make it a point that day to work in there, and that was a lot of fun. And I also worked on my digital planner um, book. I had my digital planner printed and I have a whole video on it which I will link to in the video description. It is so amazing. I'm so happy that I did it. So even though Monday was a super productive day, I could not think of anything else to fill in for my planner. So I brought in one of these stickers from the Sitting Pretty sticker kit of an office and then I brought in a header sticker that says goals uh, just because I would love for my office to be that pretty and organized. My office is kind of in shambles right now. So in the third box, I created a header that said night and then I bring in a paint stamp by Bird Design, and I'll link to those in the video description. I use them all the time, and I write down that I finished watching the Golden Globes that night. They came on on Sunday, I believe, 
and I finally got to finish them on Monday night. Um, I couldn't stay up to watch the entire thing on Sunday, but I was really excited to watch them because Darren Chris won for Best Actor in a Limited Series, and I just really, really wanted him to win. Then I decided instead of writing that down for Monday, I wanted to have a box for Maddox, and so I created a header that says Maddox, and I brought in the one picture that I took that day of him. He's wearing two superhero capes, and he was showing off his muscles, so I wrote muscles on the picture and then surrounded it with hearts. So for Tuesday, I bring in a picture of Ella that I took that morning, and then I go back and mark off that I did everything on Monday. So I get that picture placed, and then I write down that I was feeling tired on Tuesday. Ella didn't sleep very well the night before, so I was just exhausted that Tuesday. So then I fill in my headers to match the pink from my sticker kit, and I create a header for Ella. And I play around with my writing just a little bit. This probably took longer than it should have. And once I'm happy with my writing, I bring in another paint stamp by Bird Design, and I write down my princess. Um because she is such a princess. She's not just my princess. She is everybody's princess uh, in my family. So I write that down, and then I overlay my lettering in this gold foil texture by Blog Pixie. This is from her Glamour Textures kit, and I will link to it in the video description. So then I bring in another work header sticker, and then I duplicate another sticker from the Sitting Pretty sticker kit, so I get that placed and then I write down that on Tuesday I uploaded my Plan With Me video for December 10th through December 16th. So for my third box for Tuesday, I just didn't really have anything else to fill in. So I decided to put a quote in that third box. So I created a quote header and then I started a new canvas so I could make my quote bigger and then bring it in as an image. So right now I'm just playing around with some stamps and I will link to these stamps in the video description. I can't remember the shop name at the moment, but if you check out the video description, it will be down below. So I'm just placing these stamps and I decide to use the lyrics, just keep me where the light is from John Mayer. I love John Mayer. I'm so obsessed with him. I've seen him in concert 13 times and I know that sounds very stalkerish, uh, but I just love his music. So I'm just writing this quote and I play around with my lettering for a while. And this was just a lot of fun because I love working on my lettering and trying to kind of mess around with the placement and everything. I just really, really enjoy doing that. So after I'm finally happy with my lettering and the placement of all of the words, I pull in another gold texture by Blog Pixie. Again, this is part of her Glamour Textures pack, so I will link to that in the video description. So then I save that image to my camera roll and I bring it in as a sticker for my third box for Tuesday. So on Wednesday, I was just in a good mood, um, so I write that down. And then I bring in another one of my header stickers. I bring in the Today sticker. And once again, I change all of my headers to pink. I'm not sure why I decided to do it day by day. I should have just done it all at once uh, for the rest of the days of the week, but whatever. So then I bring in another sticker from the Sitting Pretty kit. And I write down that Mads, that's what we call my son Maddox, and Ella had a doctor's appointment that morning. So then I decide I want all of my headers to have white lettering, so I go back and change the ones that had black lettering. And then I create a box for Maddox. So it took me a minute to write his name for some reason. I just wrote it really slow. Um, and then I bring in this hilarious picture that I took of him that day. My husband and I used that picture as a meme throughout the week because it was hilarious. And then I bring in these laughing emojis to place underneath that picture. That picture still cracks me up. It's just hilarious. So then I create a box for Netflix. 
So this whole week, it only took us four days, my husband and I watched a series called You, and I highly recommend it. If you like things that are really dark and really suspenseful, then you will love that show. It was such a good show. We were completely hooked. Um, it only has 10 episodes, and uh, it only took us four days to watch it, which is a record for us because usually it takes us forever to get through a season of something. So then I create a box for Ella and I bring in a picture that I took of her that morning. And then I create another box for family. So then I realized that I actually forgot to write down my mood for Thursday. So I go up there and I write down that I was feeling happy. And then I bring in another sticker from the Sitting Pretty kit and I place that. Then using one of my planner sticker stamps, I create a white box and I place that over my sticker and adjust the opacity. I make it a little more transparent so you can see my writing a little bit better. And then I write down that my mom came over that day. So then I merge together several layers because this layout only allows for a maximum of 37 layers, which is quite a bit, but since I use so many stickers, I usually have to end up merging my layers together. Um, so then on Friday, I was feeling happy, and then I bring in a picture of Maddox and Ella that I took that morning, and I write down love for my header. Then I duplicate one of my work header stickers so I didn't have to turn it pink again, and I place that under Friday. And then I bring in another checklist sticker from the Sitting Pretty kit. So on Friday, I filmed several videos for YouTube. Not all of these have been released yet because I haven't had a chance to edit them. Uh, but on that day, I filmed a What's on My iPad video. And I'm sorry for the shakiness there. I don't know what's up with that. And I also filmed a Good Notes video. It's called What's in My Good Notes. That video has actually already been released, and I will link to that in the video description. I also filmed a video that teaches you how to draw coffee cup stickers in Procreate. Even if you can't draw, you can draw these coffee cup stickers, and that video has also been released, so I will link to that in the video description as well. I also filmed a video that shows how I form all of my uppercase letters in Procreate. I haven't had a chance to edit this video yet, but it's similar to my script lettering video, which I'll link to in the video description. And the last thing that I filmed that day was a video that talks about the benefits to doing your digital planning in Procreate over GoodNotes. And yet again, I've not had a chance to edit it, so it has not been released yet, but hopefully it will be released very, very soon. So on Saturday, I was feeling very nostalgic because it was my last day in my 20s, which I couldn't believe. I was just in a state of shock all day because I just can't believe my 20s are over. Um, so my first header, I just write OMG. And I decide I want to get a little bit crazy with my lettering for this box. So I start a new canvas so I can use it more like a sticker rather than just writing it directly in my calendar. And then I use a paint stamp by Bird Design, which these are linked in the video description. So for this sticker, I just wanted to write that it was my last day in my 20s. So after I'm finally happy with my lettering, I pull in another gold texture by Blog Pixie, and I just use that to accentuate the word 20s, and then I start drawing hearts to fill in some space. So then I decide I want to change those hearts to white, so I do that really quick, and then I crop the sticker so it fits because I didn't want to stretch my lettering too much. So then I get that placed under the first box for Saturday. And then I go back <laughs> and I redraw the hearts because I wasn't happy with the initial hearts that I did and I wanted to fill in more space. So then I just go crazy drawing hearts all over this sticker. So then I get that sticker placed under my box for Saturday 
and then I bring in a picture of Ella that I took that day after nap time. So I place that in my second box for Saturday and my camera gets super shaky for a second, but then I adjust my base so it stops. So I promise it doesn't do that for the rest of the video. Uh, but then I create a header for Ella and then I move on to Sunday. So on Sunday, I just write down that I was feeling 30 because it was my 30th birthday and I was just in shock all day that my 20s were over. Um, so then I create a header for turning 30. And then I bring in these birthday stickers by HT Planning, which I'll link to in the video description. I believe these little stickers are called birthday deco stickers. And I really like to use these because they have these like gold balloons. I just like the look of those. So I pull those from Dropbox and then I use an app called Magic Eraser to erase the white background. Then I save those to my camera roll and then bring them into Procreate and I just crop the three and the zero. So once I have cropped those, I delete that sticker sheet and then I just start resizing them. I resize them together so they'll be even. And then once I'm happy with the size, I move those down towards the bottom of that box. And then on top of that, I just write down, and now I'm 30. So then I color in a background just to fill in a little more space in that box. And I initially do it in a really light pink, but I decide that's too light. So I change it to a darker pink. And then once again, I start drawing hearts to fill in the empty space. That is my go-to when I have tons of empty space in between my lettering. Then I pull in a picture from the show Friends from College. It is a Netflix original show. It's hilarious. I highly recommend it if you love comedies. And I finished season two that night. So that's what I put down in my third box. So then I decide to go back and adjust one of my headers. And after I do that, I come to my second box for Sunday and I create a header for family. Then I bring in another sticker from the Sitting Pretty Sticker Kit. And once again, I use a planner sticker stamp to create a transparent box so my lettering shows up a little bit better. And I write down that I spent time with my family that day because I was with my kids, I was with my husband, James, and my parents came over as well. We didn't have Sunny that weekend, so I didn't get to spend time with him, but I did get to see him and spend time with him that next day. I also wrote down that I had cake that day because my husband made me a Funfetti cake and it was so, so good. Let me just tell you, I love Funfetti cake. It's amazing. So then I just bring in some more stickers from the Sitting Pretty Kit to fill in some extra space. I just wanted to cover those note boxes because I didn't have anything else to put over there. I didn't have any notes that I needed or reminders. And so I just use those and cover up those boxes. Then I bring in another paint stamp. And I place that underneath the stickers that I had just pulled in. And on top of that, I originally write the word chic for some reason, I guess because that sticker set is kind of chic. But then I decide to write goodbye 20s and hello 30s. So once I'm happy with that, I save my image to my camera roll. And then I bring it into my planner in GoodNotes. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more digital plan with me videos and digital planning tutorials. And check out my website naptimealt.com where there's tons of planner related freebies that you can download now.